it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. It's fall. I'm excited to paint some pumpkins. I've been seeing this technique of mixing paint with baking soda to create a textured paint that almost looks like pottery. I've seen it a lot on vases, but I want to try it out on some pumpkins today. I've got an array of paints over here. So I got some craft paints and then also some leftover paint from the tiny trailer. If you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. We used a bunch of pretty paint colors in that makeover and I have a lot of leftover samples. And so I think they'll make pretty pumpkin paint. All right, where do we want to start? First, there's too much going on. Let's scoot some pumpkins out of the way. Scoot some paints out of the way. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do some sort of white with this mint color plain white and then some sort of like peachy color, but I have four different types of pumpkins. So don't know what I'm doing for the fourth one. I'm gonna use the pink on these pumpkins so I don't need a ton. I guess if I paint all of them, I do kind of need a ton. Again, this is Sunset Drive by Bear. Okay, now I'm gonna add the baking soda and I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio, eyeballing it. So try to get the same amount of baking soda as paint that's there. I want it to make a paste, so I'm gonna stir it up. I think that's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna try it. <gasps> oh, it's so thick, it already looks really cool. All right, texture looks great. We're gonna let the top dry and start painting the other ones. I also saw that if you grab the pumpkin when the paint's like almost dry and kind of go like this, wow and pull the paint across, you get even more texture and you really do. This side is probably too far away. This side, I haven't done it yet. And then when you do it, it like pulls it across. That's a lot of texture now. I think I'm actually gonna dress up this year for Halloween. Last year I tried to dress up, but it ended up being a big fail. Logan's in a lot of organizations on campus and so there were a bunch of different like costume party things going on and I was invited to come. So I was in charge of our costumes and we had just seen Toy Story. So we wanted to be Forky and Woody. So I got Logan like the cowboy hat and the shirt and everything. And I could not find a Forky outfit. <laughs> I mean, they had them in like children's sizes, obviously, but I wanted to recreate it with like a white dress or something and I just ran out of time. It was kind of funny, we showed up to the meeting and I brought Logan his outfit to change into and I had bought something for myself, but I hadn't tried it on. So I tried mine on in the bathroom. It was like completely see-through. So I, I did not wear that. But Logan wore the Woody outfit the whole time by himself. <laughs> So I felt kind of bad. So anyways, that was our Halloween fail. Hey, look at that. All right, I'm gonna texturize these last few pumpkins. Next, I wanna paint these green ones. And I'm thinking these will be the cute ones to do the teal color. But I wanna tone this down a bit. So I'm gonna try mixing in some white. This kind of looks like some disgusting toothpaste. Hope it looks pretty on the pumpkin. I like this color, it's cool. It's a little intense, but I think it's still gonna look really cool. You got a lot of paint everywhere. Um, yeah. You're doing a great <laughs> Oh, this is like icing. I know, it kind of like, especially the colors I chose makes me wanna eat it. You're doing an excellent job, actually. Thanks. I was trying to figure out what we're gonna be for Halloween this year. Cause I talked about how we tried to be Forky and Woody, but then it just ended up being you being Woody and me being nothing. <laughs> you had a list of ideas, didn't you? Yeah, I Dora did. Dora and Boots. No, um. Dora, I never had Dora on the list. Wanda, Cosmo, and then Cannoli would be Timmy Turner. <laughs> One of us was gonna be the Pillsbury Doughboy and someone else was gonna be a Crescent Roll or Cannoli was gonna be a Crescent Roll. Cannoli would be a great Crescent Roll. <laughs> she would be a good Crescent Roll. No, wasn't I supposed to be the, like be the, like, the letter I and you'd be the Pixar lamp? <gasps> yeah, man, we're giving out all our ideas before we're even Posting it. Yeah, really set an expectation high. <laughs> is it supposed to be this chunky? Yes, it is supposed to be that chunky. That's like the point, right? Wait! Pour some sugar, sugar on, on me. me. Okay, I'm gonna paint these big ones white now. Sponge brush is not so bad. Oh my. <laughs> oh. I think it's the sponge brush. I'm blaming it on the sponge brush. I'm 
just gonna mix the color I used for the first pumpkins with white. Time to paint the babies. I feel like I need a smaller brush. Yep. I finished the last baby pumpkin, so now I'm gonna let all of these dry before I paint the bottom side. All right, everybody, I'm back, and these pumpkins are so dry, ready to be painted. So I'm gonna go back in the original order and paint the bottom of these pink pumpkins. I just finished painting the bottom of all the pumpkins, so I'm gonna let them dry. But why don't I just fast forward through the drying part and show you a montage of the pumpkins. And three, two, one. guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want that would be awesome i hope you guys have a happy fall and i'll see you in the next video bye